Today we're going to be talking about how to get past your past. And there needs to be a point in your life where you decide that the past does not matter. You need to stop being a prisoner of your past and become an architect of your future. In the present moment where you are right now, there's a good chance that at a molecular level, you are not the same person that you were when things in your past happened to you. Your cells in your body regenerate every four months all the way up to the ones that take the longest for seven years. So if you're holding yourself back because of something that happened in your childhood, if it was more than seven years ago, you are legitimately not even the same person that you were when that happened. Your body's cells regenerate so much, so that means that you're a completely different person, but you're allowing this past to hold you back from the future that you want. If it was someone that did something to you, you have to let it go. If you did something to someone, you have to let it go. If you screwed up a relationship, or if it was your parents, or if it was a loved one, or if it was family members, or if it was a significant other, whether that pain in your past was, was done physically or whether it was done mentally, you are not the same person. So to allow that to hold you back is completely insanity. Complete insanity. Now here's the thing that you have to realize about that. Every problem, every pain, every failure is actually a life lesson if you let it be. If it's holding you back, you're viewing it in the wrong context. What you should be viewing it as, as a lesson, as a teacher. If that person screwed you over in the past, if that person that you were in a relationship with, they screwed you over in some sort of way, that's a teacher in your life. They have a lesson to give you. You just have to figure out what that lesson is. You can't allow it to hold you back any longer. It is your life quest to learn from every mistake that you've ever had, every failure you've ever had, every screw up you've ever had, in any way you've ever messed up or someone has screwed you over in your past. You can no longer allow the past to hold you back from having the life that you want. The past literally means nothing. It does not exist anymore. It already happened. There's nothing that you can do about it. So to continue to allow the past to hold you back is complete insanity. You can't allow the past to hold you back. There's a point in your life where you have to decide that you're just going to let go of it, that you're going to use it as a lesson and you're going to let go of it. The question that I have for you is if the past is holding you back and you're trying to decide, well, am I going to go, am I going to go and actually become something of myself? Am I going to let this hold me back? The question I have for you is, if it's holding you back, are you going to allow it to hold you back your whole life? And if the answer is no, then you need to make the most important decision you'll ever make of your life right now. And that decision is to let go of it and to start making the future that you actually want. Here's the crazy part. Some of you listening have kids. Your kids are watching your every single movement. They're learning from you. If you're allowing something in the past to hold you back, if you're allowing this to get in your way, guess what they're going to do when they grow up? You're setting an example for them. And you have to ask yourself, is it a good example or is it a pathetic example? Because they are going to follow in your footsteps whether you like it or not. They are learning from you. They are watching you in every one of your movements. And whether they realize it or not, they're picking up everything that you're doing. And so if you want their life to be better than yours, you have to set the example that you're not going to let that hold, hold you back, that you are able to get past things that happened to you when you were younger or people that screwed you over. You have to realize that. They will follow in your footsteps. Your life can make a complete 180 shift at any point in time. You just have to make the decision that you are going to be the person that's in control of it. So the question I have for you is, are you going to continue to be a prisoner of your past? Or are you going to make the decision today to let go of it and become an architect of your future?